The Obama administration is considering outbidding the Taliban to persuade Afghan villagers to lay down arms as it struggles to find a new approach to a war that is fast losing public and congressional support. Despite five war councils in two weeks, President Barack Obama has so far failed to come up with a strategy for the conflict that may define his presidency. Obama has been handed three options by General Stanley McChrystal, commander of the U.S. forces in Afghanistan, but those options are all to raise troop levels by a quantity of either 20,000, 40,000, or 60,000, which would almost double the U.S. military presence. Apart from training more Afghan troops, the focus has shifted to accepting a political role for the Taliban, while also trying to weaken them by winning some over with salaries. Its advocates say paying Taliban foot soldiers to switch sides could spare U.S. lives and save money. The tactic was used in Iraq, where the U.S. government put 100,000 Sunni gunmen on its payroll for about $300 a month each. Some experts, however, disagree. Giles Doran Soro from the Carnegie Institute insisted, quote, you cannot break an insurgency that strong with money. It's not a mercenary force. It's a very powerful movement, 